What's up guys, welcome back to Unbox Junkie. My name is Matt and today we're finally looking at a projector screen. Now, a while back I unboxed the Xiaomi laser projector and uh, well, I didn't have a projector screen so I used some backdrop paper and it was absolutely terrible. But nonetheless, that projector was awesome. You can check out that video right here. I mentioned that because I actually use that as my main television now and uh, I have been dying to get one of these to make the screen look even better so we're gonna test it on that not only that but the rest of the week we're gonna be looking at projectors so this is gonna come in really handy this is a projector screen by house tech it's a 120 inch high quality PVC composite resin you can actually install it in multiple ways you can use nails you can use uh, you can even use double-sided tape you can use velcro plus they're saying that it's really easy to wash all you need to do to wash something like this is a little bit of soap and water So it actually comes with some screws and some drywall anchors, along with uh, some powerful hooks. Oh, that's got some weight to it. Ooh. I don't think I have enough room to fold this whole thing out in here. Oh, wow. Now there are creases um, because it's been folded up. I'm not sure what the technique for this would be to um, get these out. As you can see, it has these metal rings around the whole thing. I believe there are six rings in total. So three on the top, three on the bottom. As far as these hooks go, I think these would be really good for just hanging it, but I think that pulling it tighter would be the better way to go. But we're gonna try it out. Oh, wow, you know what it smells like? It smells like, you ever bought um, like an inflatable, like an inflatable toy for a pool? It smells exactly like that. All right, well, let's take this out of here. Go try this out. Let's go. Okay, so after looking it up, it suggested to put a PVC screen in direct sunlight. Apparently it is warm enough, but not too hot to damage the actual screen itself. I'm gonna leave it sit out here for a few minutes and see what I can do, but as you can see, lots of creases because of uh, how it's been packaged. I would think that shipping these or packaging these in a roll would probably be a much smarter way to go. But uh, anyway, we'll see what happens. So after trying the sunbathing technique, that clearly didn't work, but my girl Valerie thought of an ingenious idea, which is iron it with a towel over the top of it. Let's see what it looks like now. Oh yeah, so that's, that's the way to go. All right, well, uh, six hours of this, we'll see what happens. Well, as you can tell, this is not very pretty. About a couple of hours of trying to get the creases out of this thing, um, it did not do a very good job. There are a couple spots up here that are a little more flatter, but the screen itself has pretty much been destroyed by the way it was packaged. This is not the kind of projector screen that the average Joe is gonna wanna unbox, slap up on their wall, and watch a movie. This is gonna take time. I have the three hooks up, and as you can tell, they don't do a very good job even after stretching. It only has three holes on the top and three on the bottom, which is not enough for a screen to get flat. Now, I'm sure if you had like a heat gun and probably hours and hours to spare, you might be able to get the majority of these out. As a consumer wanting to just take it, put it up on my wall and use it, I can't suggest this at all. Now as far as uh, the other projectors that I'm gonna review, I'm not gonna be using this. All right, so this is where my microphone cut out. So it's been about a week since I recorded this. Ultimately, this is not gonna be like the best projector screen for just anybody. This is gonna be geared more toward people who are in the DIY realm of things. Maybe you wanna make your own frame or something like that. But again, because of the shipping, the creases on it are so bad, it's gonna take some time to get them out. But it's been a week since I actually recorded this and I believe that I have found the ultimate projector screen. So come back tomorrow to find out what that is. As for this, I will leave a link down in the description below as usual, I leave it in your guys' hands, but as for now, get out of here.